Well, welcome to Petaluma Community Access Board of Directors meeting, Tuesday, November 17th, 2015. Marcia, could you call the roll, please? Sure. Cindy Thomas, Kathy Reeves Rivas, present. Neil Fishman. Here. I'm here. Mark Caramillo. Kim Williamson. Here. And John's here. I'm here. Seeing no public comment. a little more comment. excited about being here. Oh, I am excited. This is my exciting place. <laughs> See no public comment. Uh, we will go on to the next agenda item. Uh, do any of the directors have any comments or announcements? Yes? Yep. Um, the City of Petaluma sta City staff are thrilled to announce that we've released a new uh, app for the iPhone, the Android, and uh, web browsers everywhere called Engage Petaluma. It's an app that we think will improve the ability of people to submit requests for staff to handle them and to deal with closures in the process and improve communications. Um, you can check last night's council meeting where I had to stand in front of the council and tell them about it a little bit, or you can visit the city's website, www.cityofpetaluma.net. Again, the app is called Engage Petaluma. You can find it on the iTunes, the App Store, or the Google Play. Just search for Engage Petaluma or just simply Petaluma. It's like I read it, doesn't it? Uh -huh. It's just going to cost us. Thank something. you, Tim. That, that look like is I it read free? It. it is free. Okay. And it was released this morning. Pretty exciting. Good. Very exciting. Can't you tell how thrilled I am? <laughs> I told you, this is my, thr this is my thrilled voice. <laughs> it sounds pretty thrilled. Good thing you're sitting. The you know, agenda I is stay in my chair. <laughs> Are there any requests for modifications or deletions to the agenda? <coughs> no? Not for me. Um, the approval of the minutes from the October 20th meeting. Move it. Second. And the treasurer's report. Um... The financials are not much different than last month. Things are looking okay. Um, John, you you have anything? I didn't anything. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the we're very close to budget and virtually all items, and that's not much to report. Well, that's kind of exciting. It's yeah, rarely like that. A little sur, little even a little bit of a surplus last month, so we're, we're looking good. That's that's good. And I just got. Um, uh, Another question from Torkelson. They're moving forward on the income tax re returns and the uh, the full audit. Oh, this is the year for the full audit. Yeah. Okay. One and five. That's Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's on. Doesn't on doesn't track. look like there's going to be much to report on. <coughs> it's all good. I just have to have we talked to the lawyer and I got to get the bank stuff to signed. Moving right along on that. Okay, next on the agenda is the executive director's report. Well, we had a great Chamber of Commerce after hours mixer. It was a real treat. The place was all spot, spotless and <laughs> spiffy and uh, uh, I, I joined be jumping. It wasn't yeah, too it was sticky a, where I had dropped the drinks. The, no, uh, no, it didn't even <laughs> smell. I had the air conditioning on overnight. And, and uh, we had about 40 people, I'd say. Maybe not all at once, but overall probably I mean, more overall yeah. maybe it might be more yeah. overall because there was one point where it was packed Great. and we gave away three memberships and one of them was just beaming ear to ear jumping up and down it was very happy um did some community outreach in the last month i did another art of cinema at the uh, art center i'm going to repeat that on december 9th a wednesday here at the office that's more of a Invitation only, I think. It's 15 people, so I had some people who couldn't make it, and they they wanted a rain check. So, do you do you record that so you can stream? No, I don't really have the rights to all the clips. It's an educational kind of format, and I'm ad libbing. And if I had to have a camera on me, I'd probably get tongue tight. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did a production for hire. We filmed the farm rescue forum. <coughs> The Petaluma Grange put that on at the library. And we covered the Veterans Parade, and that was Stephanie's first uh, field operation. She didn't feel confident with the mixer, so we just shot it with the cameras and we're going to edit it here. But everybody came back laughing and having a good time. So 
was a great a parade. Right. And uh, the radio project, uh, we're going to be meeting with um, uh, the JC on Friday to work through some more details on the MOU. Um, and oh, I forgot to show you this. I, I trust everybody oh. saw the Argus. You got it too. Yeah, it's a great article. It was a great article. Yeah, a great article. And because of this, um, I got a call from Matt McGuire. Want to give us some money? So what? I had a coffee with him today, and he wrote us a, our first radio donation check for a hundred dollars. Great! Excellent. Thank you, Perfect. Matt. Yes. You're excellent. And we took care of the check signing card already, so I'm done with this. Okay, there's Unless no there's any questions. There's no items on the consent calendar, so we'll go on to reports of committees. I don't believe any of these committees met within the last month that I'm aware of. No. Okay, then we'll go on to old business. Before we go off, the, yes. um, we should be having a finance committee meeting soon for the budget, or that's not... Uh, um, I've already delivered the we're, budget. We're already done, yeah. okay. And I usually do another review in January okay. to see where we are okay. after the first two quarters. All right, that's good. Okay. So under Old Business A is the signature fundraiser event, and it has my name on it. So we, um, I contacted... Uh, McNears in regards we had talked about um, getting champagne glasses which I talked to Neil about and we can get them for 60 cents a glass um, from them they will also um, sell water and they sell it for a dollar fifty a bottle so one ticket could give somebody two two bottles of water so that works into our dollar frame for that and other than that, I think at this point we're just moving forward and things seem to be coming together and hoping that uh, everybody is out pounding the pavement, getting items for the baskets. We've been working on the, the poster. <laughs> this is the latest version. Whoa. There's those, are, small ones. those are earlier versions. Those polished. These aren't as polished? No. Oh, the lettering. Yeah. yeah, we changed the lettering. We had a typo on Tom's name. Looks good. How do you spell his name? G-A-F-F-E-Y. No N. No N. Looks good. So I had a question about whether we think the price the price of the tickets is the more important, or the tickets are on sale now at the Mystic? Because you'll see that there's five lines down at the bottom. And we have the price right under the title, and we at the bottom we tell people how to get it. And it could be flipped. Just, to, I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I thought tickets weren't going to be on sale till December first. Is that? This is when this is going to go out. Okay. So when, when the tickets are ready, we put the posters on the doors yeah. and we're off and running. But that was just a question. I think that maybe the price. Up top. Okay. And then they can read on down to see where to get them. That's just my opinion. And I kind of disagree with do that. Do you? Yeah. I kind of think Typically, maybe. people do them upside down. Put the price below it. Yeah. I kind of think maybe it's more important that they're on sale right yeah. now. But... Well, that's I don't the, have that's an easy feelings. flip to make, and I'm not uh, I'm not invested in either. I'm, I'm me either. I mean, me either. I, just, I could be bribed either way. When right. You, you I could be, I could be bribed either <laughs> you way. You said too. that on TV. I <laughs> did. Yeah. yeah. So, so, then, so then I guess we're more approved. Is, is there? Well, then I would say my suggestion would be to send it back to the people that are in charge of the poster, and they decide. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, to us. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. well, it's, it's been a challenge. <laughs> this last one, we had some divergent uh, uh, reads on it, but I think we're there. Uh, did any? Did you read the bottom three lines carefully? Because they could be changed. You can always ask a couple of the ex-board members who are uh, marketing types. It has two effects. One, it kind of clues them in early. 
I, I like it. I think yeah. it sounds. I mean, yeah. What else do we would we want to put there? I can't think of anything I mean, that's, else. That's the only. That's the reason you'd come to the Oscars, watching the big screen, dress up, dress signature up. Drinks, drinks. You know, it's yeah, it's that's what it's it about. Off. So take an Uber drive. Hmm? <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> Looks good. It's good. Okay. Good job. And I don't know if I uh, the business about the stickers. We got a price. It's about almost eight hundred dollars. To put them in the paper. Put them on the paper for one pr one paper. Mm -hmm. We could probably negotiate it down, but still, it's six. I don't, don't think, you think we'll do better just hitting up our own well, network of people. I think we could keep this uh, in so reserve, working. and if, if at the if beginning of February we don't have we sold don't enough have tickets, a, then yeah. we run this. Yeah, through. good that's, idea. That's a yeah. great idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's Matt's check first. That's good news. Yeah. That's a start. I wanted to add another zero, but he was. It's coffee we're drinking up here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If you'd have known, you could have yeah, no, been. Yeah. Old business uh, B is discussion on board recruitment. That's you, John. Yeah, board recruitment. Well, as you can see, we're down to six, and uh, Cindy's tired. So we're looking to uh, grow. Um, and I put together the. Um, she had so much good. The introductory packet. If you'd all like to take one, give it to somebody. We have introductory packets for prospective board members. Do you have it on, uh, electronically yes, too? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. But it's like two or three documents. This is a compilation. There's a questionnaire in there. If you would send it to me electronically, then too, because I have at least one person that I talked to at the mixer that I could email it to. Okay. She was definitely interested. So I'm, I'm here just for, the, for another year. Just for another year. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than that, but uh, I'm going to be the chair of the Sonoma Land Trust in a year. It was announced oh. yesterday, so. Which is a lot of meetings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, where was I here? So, do you have any other to on add that, to that? On that, mm -hmm. so, uh, no, it's just that we need to, we be need to start we need to looking to recruit some. But the excitement of the radio has put us back in the. the yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. Honest, if anybody's watching this, it's a great fun gig. Come on, join the board. You're all supposed to say, yeah, you should Call see Neil. the but party we, we have tell, afterwards. I mean, we can't tell you what we did at closed session last night. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but you should have been there. Trust me. <laughs> okay, item number 11, which is new business. Uh, discussion mm -hmm. and possible action on a renewal of city agreement. So I assume that you're going to do that, John. See yeah, it I'll says Cindy there. Well, Cindy's supposed to sign it, and the city would like it back on Thursday. So I will find a way to get in touch with Cindy. And it's on track for December 7th approval. Yeah. And we got, we integrated the radio. That's on paper. and um, Which is a highlight in the, in the agenda. Yeah. And the city, the city must be happy that we're getting a radio station. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if we can offer to do the city council meetings because no. we don't have Monday night yet. But things could evolve. Uh, people ask when it's going to be ready. I say, well, we're, our dream desire is February. And if we don't make February, we just request an extension and we have another 18 months. But I would say 2016 would be on the air. Sometime in 2016. In relationship to the city agreement, if I had some questions, could I just present them to you yeah. later? Uh, no questions. Pardon? No questions. It has to hit the press. It's too late for questions. Yeah, we were. We did a lot of questioning in the last few days, and I had a. I had to really. We had to revise okay. a piece, right. but I'd like That's to fine. know what you're thinking. Okay, I'll go over it with yeah. you before you leave tonight. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, okay, new business. Wait, wait, oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> we were able to raise our rate with the city in a, such a way as the city is not impacted negatively, and nor are we. 
and that was an interesting equation. It took us back and forth a little to work it out. But what that does is it gives us a, a larger cash flow from an external source, which is money we can use for the radio. So, and it, what we've got is we start at $16 an hour, and, and we get a dollar raise each year. And we're paying rent now for the, um, the booth. Which will go up as well. Yeah. yeah. So, and it was interesting with a dollar raise for us and a $15 raise for the city, it matched out perfectly. Every year was exactly the same. I don't know the magic, but I like those kind of things. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> and I guess I might as well mention it now. Is it, no, it's on the agenda. Isn't it? <coughs> the, yeah, the city mm -hmm. equipment. That's mm -hmm. on the agenda. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. Okay, so are we finished with that? With yes, the city agreement? Okay. Oh, no, we need to vote on it. Oh, to approve it. Approve it. I'll move it. Ready to, to sign it. I read some version of it. It seems good. I read it intensely, but I'm going to have to abstain. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I'll second. All those in favor, aye. signify by saying aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Abstain. Is I don't ten. think I have to explain why. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay, so okay. sign up. <laughs> New business then, um, the possible discussion and possible action of the city equipment purchase. Okay, this is where I need authorization to spend a large sum of money. And Zach has been working on the city hall upgrade and the cameras. And the cameras, we got a $12,000 package for new cameras. Which cameras? Um, we're talking about the Sony HD PTZ camera with no, the Blackmagic 8 amp switcher. Yeah, don't get fancy. I don't know what that is. It's just uh, which ones in the in the council chamber more different? All of them. Just replace all four of all them. All four. Okay. Will be replaced. So we got a, four remote cameras, a switcher, a signal compatibility, and a remote controller. Now, I assume these are HD cameras, but even though we don't. Uh, Broadcast yeah, on HD. Broadcast I don't think you can buy anything non HD. No, no, it's all HD now. What's the total cost of it? The total cost would then be I got the right twelve thousand dollars for the cameras and sixty three thousand dollars for the city upgrade. What pieces does this replace in the booth? In the booth we've got a new hypercaster decoder. Which is decoder. the any cast replacement? Yeah. Okay. And um, ProView graphics, archiving, telestream, capture software, transcoding. Oh, wait is, a it, second. is this coming out of our, our capital oh, wow. reserve? Yes, wow. it's coming out of our capital reserve. And what's we've the total got about 70000 in the city, and we got 50000 in our bank. So leaving us with 30000 40000 at the end of this? Yes, and uh, maybe fifteen. Uh, that might go to the radio. So this is the year we spend the money we've been saving. Well, I mean, our chief client, our chief reason for being is the city council, yeah, so. and it uh, makes sense to do and it. And their chief stew just sitting right here. Their chief stew just <laughs> sitting right here. <laughs> I, I want to take that back because it looks like Zach has added the cameras to the total here. So we're talking 63 total. 63 total. So in the Anycast replacement device, the titling, we have to go in there and put the title of the meeting and the date and stuff like that? Is oh. that easier in the new system? It should be easier. I oh, I don't know. It should be. I, well, I didn't ask that question to Zach, and I don't have the answer without bluffing, and I don't think that's, a, that's not my style. So. Um, I know, because I can tell. So we're talking $63,000 total. You yeah. mentioned a remote control. What was the purpose of the remote control? to turn the cameras. Oh, like, like the joystick, the way you yeah, use it. Yeah. What happens to the old equipment, John? Uh, a lot of it gets traded in when we get this, because we're talking about pretty high-powered um, servers, and they make that part of the deal. Um, trade credit for the Nexus servers is 2500 That's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of money. Uh, they were only like 8000 new, weren't they? Ten? I don't remember. That's like a that's that's like that's like a residual value on something eight years old. Yeah. Wow. So this stuff is all eight years old. I mean, some of it's older. eight, eight some, some of it's older. ten. Yeah, the camera above the door in the city council chambers is like ancient. 
the three little R2D2 things are about 2007. So is this going to be better for, I mean, no more screw ups, or is it better because it'll be better quality even though it's not HD? It's it's more robust and secure, it means we'll have less technical problems. We've yeah. had a fewer, fewer, fewer. <laughs> Okay, no, I sit correctly. <laughs> it's one of my bugaboos. <laughs> okay. If I were. So is there any remote capability on the mixer or the switcher? Um, you know, like, can you control that over the network? Zach has always talked about that when we went into Katati, so I imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the remote capability because in the event that there's trouble in City Hall and you're not able to get into the building, if you could access it by a network, you'd, uh, it would solve some of that difficulty. I know some of the downtime has been, you know, just power problems and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, we've been locked out of our, our server all week because it doesn't have enough. I mean, uh, Stephanie's been on the phone with Comcast, and they're coming in. They're going to rewire. We're going to get the mixer off the floor, mm -hmm. and we're going to move things around in the booth. It will be a major overhaul. And I. You know, we, your questions can go to the next level with that. This is just to get okay. an authorization for an envelope for of total. money to spend. I can always come back and ask for more. I can also spend less. Things could evolve. You could spend less if and you, change the stuff. If you authorize this expenditure of sixty-three thousand, the city will be happy. With this various oh, yeah. folks at the city yeah. will think that we're doing a or good else. job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're signing up fifteen years to serve the city. We need yeah. a new yeah. I, I magic carpet to fly on. I'll second. I don't know if I should abstain or not. Nah, I'll vote for it. Sounds good. It's been okay. moved and seconded so we, to you. authorize John to take 63000 to purchase Cap the capital equipment. Expense. Uh, capital expense. From, from, the, from the one that was from the, the Comcast money, the $70,000 account? Yeah, there's still money in that account. Okay, so, we're, so we're authorizing you to spend that one. I would probably take a little of both. Just okay. To, yeah. Because we've got fifty thousand dollars in some estate bank that can only be used for capital. When we sold the uh, okay. the trailer, I, 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 I think we should also add sixty-three dollars. That's one tenth of one percent for beer when it's all installed. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll withdraw that. Better, better I'll withdraw my vote. I'm abstaining. <laughs> You can't vote it. Okay, anyway. all those in favor. <laughs> I, I, yeah. You have so standing moved. on that one too, Tim? No, I'll vote it. Okay. okay, moving on. New business um, C, discussion and possible action on the employee handbook. Yeah, Nellie and I have been cranking on this. We've integrated all the changes and sent it out to you. But I don't want to force it because if you wanted to read it carefully and make corrections, I didn't go through it. But have we looked at the changes previously? These are things we've approved. Yeah, there's three copies you can circulate and share. Um, we're adding the living wage. We're adding adding a line on mandatory mandatory arbitration. We're adding the living wage. Got some help from Tim. Living that. wage means that. PCA supports the City of Petaluma's living wage ordinance, although compliance is not required by the ordinance. PCA will pay all employees at least the minimum living wage as stipulated by the announced published by the City Bureau. That sounds like what I told you to say. Word for word. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> I listened. And, and I didn't have typos on my phone. And um, What's this going to cost us? Well, we're already up to it. We're yeah, already right. matching it. And it's <coughs> basically it's $15 an hour. And we're up to that with our staff. We did that. Before. We got to that point, and this just formalizes it. And uh, then what else? We added paid sick leave. That's become mandatory for all employees. So we had to revise that. Uh, we made a minor change in holidays. Was Ooh, that in the number of holidays, or was that just? No, actually, it was just taking one line from the lower paragraph and moving it up to the okay. top paragraph. Um, because it's, it fit better there. Yeah. Um, so the, these are paid holidays if they've already worked five days in that pay period. Yeah. If they don't work five days in the pay period, they don't get a paid holiday. So it's sort of kind of like if they're a one day a week person. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then vacation benefits. Um, we had it set up so that we had PTO for part time employees and uh, 
full-time employees had a regular vacation packet. Uh, <coughs> my vacation, however, is negotiated through the contract. contract, and we don't have any other full-time employees. Mm -hmm. Zach was a full-time for a while. So we are striking the whole vacation benefits part, and we're revising the terminology around the PTO plan we have. We're not calling it vacation benefits. It accrues at the same scale. And it basically make guarantees that they get one week on their... For a full year's work. Yeah. So if they work 20 hours a week, they'd get a 20-hour vacation. If they work 25, they would get 25. If they work... Is this on sort of... Uh, uh, I mean, in some respects, that's liberal compared to some organizations which pay almost nothing for part-time work, yeah. right? No, we, we've, we've been around this, and we need our, our part-timers to be happy. That was a big breakthrough about three or four mm -hmm. years ago to figure all that out. And, <coughs> and so to figure out how much retention it would. Yeah. On the sick, on the, when you're down to the sick leave, which is the next section, mm -hmm. uh, explain what it, where it says accrued paid sick leave is capped at 48 hours. The, the state ordinance or whatever it is um, requires that there is a cap of 48 hours, but Brooke explained to me that in our situation, <coughs> we can cap how many they can use in a year. And she suggested three days. I thought the three days was was the, the um, mandatory amount that you had to provide. Yeah, and we are. But, but, you, and, but you, we're going to do more than that. Well, it's the that was my question. The accrual I guess. starts on the 31st day of employment, mm -hmm. and they start accruing. And when they get up to 40 hours, it's capped, mm -hmm. and that gets carried over, I believe. But it does Absolutely. not get paid out on termination. Now, of that 48 hours, they can use three in a year, and then they can accrue back up to 48. Or they could use six. Not in a year. I mean, well, they can, that's, they, that's, that's, you can only be sick. You can only be sick half the time, half of your accrual. No, why wouldn't you allow them to use all of their accrued time in a year? Um, I don't know, but uh, Brooke made a very strong recommendation that that's what we do. Hmm. Well, these are low numbers, but it's, we're also having, you know, you know, a small amount, you know, this small part time. These are these are running about twenty to thirty hours, and yeah, and and also we. The PTO plan we had was used for sick time or whatever mm -hmm. they wanted, mm -hmm. so they've still got all that. So this is on top of what they already got. I just was, uh, the 48 hours was kind of the, the thing that. Yes, uh, I can was take confusing it back. to me. I can take it back. You know, we don't have to fast track this. We could take it back to December. We could table it and vote on it in December. Why, why don't we do that? I would too? like that. Yeah. I would just like some clarification on yeah. that. I would too. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, because it seems to me that if if you if you have forty eight hours on the book and you get really sick, it's mm -hmm. not unreasonable to be to be able to use all of it. Right. Yeah. What, why? It's like you're capping it at an effective twenty four. Well, unless somehow they're talking about yeah. three hours that comes into a new year from the previous year, only yeah. three may be used in the new year, giving you well, that's uh, actually that's, nine days. I think, nine we're, ha I think we're having some heartache on that second. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's no, yeah. I don't understand it myself. Okay. The rest, the rest of us sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, that, it, the rest now of that we have fine. another month, you, those of you who want to take this home and read through it, we might be able right. to improve some other stuff in it. But don't push it. <laughs> what? I said, don't push it. Otherwise, I think, it's I think that was my own. That was my only question. In it. Well, well, I'd like well, to read it more thoroughly. In, okay. So. so then we will table that item for okay. December. For old okay. That sounds good. Um. So now we'll go to new business D, which is discussion and possible action on future PCA contest guidelines. That was Cindy. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it was. She had an issue with our drawing at the chamber mm -hmm. and wants us to be, uh, the issue was the Jew Neon one, and she's not a member of the chamber, and she's kind of a friend of the family. Um, I thought it was poetic justice. She does a lot for us, so I wasn't upset with it. But I think the real issue is if we're going to have raffles at the fundraiser, we need to review the rules for mm -hmm. nonprofits. You know, nobody who is on the staff or board can win, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So, do we have rules? 
No, it's the, the state has rules for right. the office. Do we have a, it, do we have any rules that implement them? Um, <coughs> we uh, Marcel, remember Marcel gave away a uh, power book or no? Uh, an iPad, was an iPad. Yeah. She had an iPad that she donated for a Better and Eggs Day raffle, and she got very involved. And I've still got the research she did, mm -hmm. so I sent that to Cindy. But I think we should table that because I think she had the. I don't have the same issues she had. So. Sounds good. I think the only issue I had with it is the fact that the dues, her, her dues, were due in March, and. So consequently, she was acting with, without being a member, even if well, that the makes bars. it easier for her to win. Well, well, yeah, I I have a question about does that mean members can't participate? Well, I, yeah, I, it was the Chamber of Commerce, and the Chamber of Commerce, the way they work their after hours is there's a poll, and the members cards. of the chamber drop their cards well, in. Well, pretty much anybody that walks in the door sticks their card in. Yeah, yeah. and but you did. And yeah, yeah. I mean, something where it's a, where it's a, a drawing. But, I mean, but I, don't, I don't remember a chamber event where they cared who stuck their cards in. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. So but, you wanted, but with the fundraiser coming up, I think we, we should dot our I's and know what we need to know well, before it, we uh, Yeah, we should, but yeah. And we have time for that. Okay. And I think that was Cindy's larger aim. I'm, I'm okay, okay with that, but no crossing of T's. Crossing of teeth, okay. You don't have any teeth in your name, you know. <laughs> so we're going to table no that uh, <laughs> until December. Until December. Tiberius? Or, or yeah, send you right. Okay, moving on. Number 11E is discussion and possible action on leasing additional office space. John. Yeah, so t no, tell us about your well, Cindy's visit. Cindy and I, on the night of the mixer, went into the room next door and kind of browsed around and we took Stephanie and Thomas with us. And I think that with the radio station coming and with the cramped spacing that we have now, that there's some real available space that we could possibly get at some kind of a decent price maybe, or not. So ordinarily in when things like that are discussed in meetings, we don't televise that stuff, so we send it to closed session. Okay. I asked Cindy about that. She said no. Are you okay negotiating on TV? Well, we're not going to. Negotiate. We're not negotiating. I just, just want to make sure that we know where we're going before. Yeah, we're not. Okay, we're no, not going to just discuss We're doing research. Okay. And um, I don't feel that we're really cramped now, but the radio will change that. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're, we're very. How many square feet are over there? That back there it's about is forty or fifty percent at more. We've got right now here. We've got uh, is it seventeen hundred? Yeah, we got seventeen hundred square feet now. And what's it costing? Around four grand a month. Now this is where it gets interesting. Well, they've got an agent. They've got a contract with an agent that they can't undercut, and their agent is doing downtown values, dollar ninety a square mm. foot, and they have square feet. 1300 back there. So we're looking at $2,546. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. More I, or total? Total for that back. If we go That's through just the, the back. I don't think okay. we can afford half that much. Okay. Our rent now is $2,100. At $1.90, it would be $3,200. So we've got a very good deal. We've got like three more, two more years on the lease. Mm -hmm. um, and that's more space than we need. But it's exciting. It's a nice, clean space. The door's still open. You can take a peek. Um, you know, there is a possibility that PCA could uh, host other nonprofits. That people could have little offices. And it could be kind of a nonprofit central. Um, I also looked upstairs. They have an empty room upstairs. One, a beautiful room with balconies and stuff, which is more than we need. But they also have a hallway with three little cubicles. So if we needed a Space. quick fix for that, I could move up there, the radio could move up there. <coughs> but we don't really have a $20,000 no. surplus no. in our current budget. No. And per, year, per year. Per That's year. Very recurring. <laughs> yeah. So I don't see how we can, I mean, we're, we're cutting it pretty tight as it is now. So how do we, I mean, if we can come up with a way to come up with the extra money, fine. Yeah. That's a lot of radio ads. Yeah. 
a couple thousand a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can solve the problem otherwise, but it was good to get in touch with the yeah. landlords and all that. And see how much it was. Yeah. Well, I think that's far more than what we... Yeah, the way it was left with Kathy was that um, we'd have to renegotiate a new lease, which would give us another five years. Um, but she wanted to... We needed our budget, how much we could afford, mm -hmm. and she'd see what she could work out. She was going to check and see when the contract with the agent drops out, whether it was a three month or six month. But they're not showing it, not visiting it, so it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not a great location. It's got no storefront. Yeah. You know, if we hadn't put all the work into this, we could give up this side and then take that side, mm -hmm. which would have probably just been right. But uh, I don't think it's in the cards, but we can always renew the... Okay. I, I had no idea it was going to be... Yeah. I was a little surprised, too. That high. Okay. Well, once the agent's done with it, if they don't do anything with it, then okay. is there a possibility of renegotiating with the landlord? Yeah. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to still, we, we don't have slack in the budget for no, really for, for new space. I mean, we, we would have to come up with a, at, at a fundraising scheme that would get us mm -hmm. there. At 1,300 square feet, even 50 cents a square foot, six, 650 bucks a month, and that's a quarter what they're mm -hmm. trying to get. Mm -hmm. There's a big, kind of a big gap. I mean, we do have a surplus. We do have... Now, I've been able to save what? anywhere from ten to fifty thousand a year just yeah. by frugality, but that's going to pay off at the radio. We're going to put out a lot of money in this this next year. Yeah, but, right. but even at half the asking price, this is a thousand a month. That's twelve thousand a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, but we, that means that your frugality is going to have is going to have a you know, going to have a little pressure. We are going to have to have space for the radio, though, right? Yeah. Um, well, things could evolve a number of different ways. Uh, I could work. Um, but telecommuting, and my office goes. Um, we've got a real strong staff now. They really get along well, and they're, um, they hum. They come up with ideas. They look around for things to fix. Um, and the Zach is still rock solid. Um, I should point out that <coughs> I have, I'm eligible for health benefits. I'm not claiming it because I get it through Muriel at the school district. But if you had an EV that needed it, that would be an and expense addition, we're not right. paying right now. And that would eat up our margin right there. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to keep that margin alive. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, maybe the radio could be in here. We're not using this a lot like we thought we might. Or at least timeshare it. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. either that or we, you know, this fundraiser goes well and we start adding new money-making schemes to our yearly budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, for all the work prepping this long agenda, we whipped through that, huh? We did. But it's it's good which job, because Kathy. Kathy's such an outstanding yeah. leader. Yeah. <laughs> she is outstanding by all means. Okay. Stand out. So I need someone to adjourn the meeting then. Somebody to move. Mm -hmm. I move. That is be adjourned. I move we adjourn this meeting. Okay. So we need a second? I'll second that. Okay. Meeting adjourned. We have a vote. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you want to vote on adjourning it or do you want to stay the night? I was going to vote no. Don't oh, really. Okay. Don't really. really? <laughs> okay. Just for the fun All those in favor of adjourning the meeting? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, we better turn that thing off.